Trivia time, little minds get ready to explore Camry's questions challenge, but you'll crave for more Biblical mysteries, secrets to unfold The world of God's word, let the stories be told Hey there, God's curious little learners Welcome to another episode of Kids Bible Trivia with Camry Do you know the story of the Passover? It's one of the most amazing events in the Bible, where God rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. In this video, I'm going to test your knowledge of the Passover with 15 trivia questions. Are you ready? Let's go! Question 1. What was the name of the leader who spoke to Pharaoh on behalf of God and the Israelites? Aaron, Moses, Joshua, or David? The answer is Moses. He was chosen by God to confront Pharaoh and demand that he let the Israelites go. Question 2. What was the name of Moses' brother who helped him perform miracles in front of Pharaoh? Aaron, Caleb, Bob, or Joseph? The answer is Aaron. He was Moses' older brother and spokesperson. Question 3. How many plagues did God send upon Egypt? before Pharaoh agreed to let the Israelites go. Seven, nine, 10, or 12. The answer is 10. The plagues were water turned to blood, frogs, gnats, flies, livestock death, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and death of the firstborn. Question four, what was the name of the last and most terrible plague that God sent upon Egypt? Death of the firstborn, darkness, locusts, or hail. The answer is death of the firstborn. God said that he would kill every firstborn son in Egypt, from Pharaoh's son to the son of the slave girl. Question five, what did the Israelites have to do to protect their firstborn sons from the last plague? Hide them under their beds, put a cross on their doors, paint their doorposts with lamb's blood, or pray to God all night long. The answer is paint their doorposts with lamb's blood. God told them to sacrifice a lamb and use its blood as a sign on their houses. When he saw the blood, he would pass over that house and not harm anyone inside. Question six, what did the Israelites have to eat on the night of the Passover? Bread and cheese, fish and vegetables, lamb and bitter herbs, or fruits and nuts? The easy answer is lamb and bitter herbs. God told them to roast the lamb and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They had to eat it quickly and be ready to leave. Question seven, what did the Israelites have to do with their leftover lamb meat? Give it to their neighbors, save it for later, burn it with fire, or bury it in the ground. This is burn it with fire. God told them not to leave any of it until morning or break any of its bones. If they had any leftovers, they had to burn it with fire. Question 8. What did Pharaoh do when he realized that he had lost his firstborn son and all the firstborn sons of Egypt? He cried and repented. He let the Israelites go, then regretted it, and he chased after them. He killed himself, or he worshipped God. He says he let the Israelites go, then regretted it, and he chased after them. The Pharaoh let the Israelites go then. He changed his mind about letting them go and gathered his army and chariots to pursue them. Question 9. What did God do to help the Israelites escape from Pharaoh's army? He made them invisible. He gave them wings. He parted the Red Sea. Or he caused an earthquake. The answer is he parted the Red Sea. He sent a strong wind that divided the water and made a dry path for them to cross. Question 10, what happened to Pharaoh's army when they tried to follow the Israelites through the Red Sea? They drowned in the water, they turned back in fear, they were swallowed by a whale, or they were struck by lightning. The answer is they drowned in the water. God closed the water behind them and destroyed them all. Question 11, how did the Israelites celebrate their deliverance from Egypt? They danced and 
sang praises to God. They built an altar and offered sacrifices to God. They ate a feast and thanked God for his provision or all of the above. The answer is all of the above. They did all of these things to express their gratitude and joy for what God had done for them. Question 12. What did God give the Israelites to guide them in the wilderness? A map and a compass, a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire, a star and a rainbow, or an angel and a prophet. The answer is a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. God went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to show them the way. Question 13. What did God provide the Israelites to eat and drink in the wilderness? Manna and quail, honey and milk, bread and wine, water and dates. The answer is manna and quail. God sent them bread from heaven called manna every morning and meat from birds called quail every evening. Question 14. What did God ask the Israelites to do to remember the Passover every year? To write a song about it to make a statue of it, to celebrate a festival for it, to tell their children about it. The answer is to celebrate a festival for it. God told them to observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days, starting with the Passover meal on the first night. Question 15, what does the Passover teach us about Jesus Christ? He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the bread of life who gives us eternal life. He is the light of the world who guides us in the darkness or all of the above. The answer is all of the above. Jesus fulfilled the Passover by dying on the cross as our sacrifice, rising from the dead as our victory, and sending us his spirit as our helper. Congratulations! You have completed the Passover trivia quiz. How did you do? Did you learn something new? I hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about God's amazing love and power. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun Bible trivia videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.